I've already pre-shuffled. I'll be using two oracle cards for your recent pass. They are the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then I'll go through the present time, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why this is all happening. So Virgo, in the recent past, we have listen, and um, you deserve love. So let's start with listen. On the flip side of this card, listen says when you feel overly attached to an outcome, it's simply an indication that we need to reconnect with our wise self. Okay, and then we have, you deserve love. You are lovable. So, in the recent past, Virgo, there was something that you probably was obsessing about. Something that you, that was overwhelming. You were const it was constantly on your mind. You felt overly attached to the outcome, overly attached to whatever it was. Maybe a person or a situation and um, this card is about listen because it would have been important to uh, take to your wise self use some wisdom thinking at this time and it would have also been important for you to know that you were lovable so I'm picking up that you possibly had some some self type issues, maybe self esteem or possibly some issues dealing with yourself. Uh, something you, maybe you weren't unhappy with something about yourself because this other oracle is saying you deserve love. Maybe something brought you down and you, maybe something was bringing you down and you, um, um, you became overly obsessed with the thought of or whatever was bringing you down you became overly obsessed obsessed with it and so these two cards are asking you to know that you are lovable and that um take to your wise inner self use some wisdom thinking at this time so that's what you should have done in the recent past now let's take a look at you in the present time we have the strength card and then we also have the three of pentacles now with the strength card it's going to be important now for you to make time to meditate contemplate and spend some time alone even if you're in a committed relationship and you have a lot of kids do not, don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear. Outward things, they'll be going okay. They'll be going pretty well. But what's most important at this time is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability to do that, but you also have the responsibility. So conquer any fears at this time. Control your impulses and never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. If you're asking questions about love and relationships and you get the strength card, uh, it's going, it should be going well. If you're in a committed relationship, it's probably going to get strong, much stronger. Or it should be a really strong relationship and mutually supportive and beneficial. And if you're single, if you're, if you're not dating anyone and you're watching this reading and you get the strength card, uh, it's a much better than average time to meet people because you'll, you'll be in a more self-confident phase. So it's important to get out there and socialize. You might be very pleasantly surprised how things work out. Okay, so that's the strength card, and it's paired with the Three of Pentacles. Now, this is a very positive card in the tarot when it comes to work or career questions. But it is a good overall card also. Uh, it means that uh, you're doing well. 
the three of pentacles it tells you that people around you they appreciate you and your efforts they also notice the quality of work you do even if you're not getting paid for it this card it tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're right on track uh, there, although there's probably room for improvement but at this time you will not have to scrap something and then start again and if you're asking about relationships, romance, and you get the Three of Pentacles, um, basically, if you already know someone that you're interested in, this tells you that they see you in a very positive light. As someone who has all the qualities that they've been looking for. Although love has not quite developed yet, so there's going to be a need to be patient. And if you are unattached and looking for a relationship, this card indicates that you are likely to meet someone through your work or probably through theirs. So you have to keep your eyes open at this time. Now, with these two cards paired together for your present time, the Strength card and the Three of Pentacles, the Strength card is about having a lot of self-love, it's unconditional love. You have a lot of self-respect. Um, very strong. Strength is, is very strong. Uh, if you're in a relationship, it's very strong. Very, very um, mutually supportive. And because it's paired with the Three of Pentacles, there's teamwork there. There's possible collaboration uh, in the relationship. So there's uh, group effort, couple effort. If there's, if there's group effort, if there's more than two of you, uh, there's uh, couple team effort if, if there's two of you. So... Um, your person is seeing you in a very positive light and um, they enjoy that you have um, self-confidence and um, you have you love yourself so that's a good thing and um, like I said these are two very good cards to get in a reading very positive so let's move on down and take a look at how your person is seeing you okay we have the four of wands and it's paired with the five of wands so the four of wands it often indicates that you may be attending a special event this event could be way more fun than you're anticipating so make sure you go and you have a good time business is likely to be going very well at this time for you and you'll be proud of yourself and others will be proud of you too although this is a very positive card in the tarot it shows a need to keep your wits about yourself and although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun at this time just know that you're still in the building up phase and now is really not a time to rest completely on your laurels this card can also mean that You'll be moving your place of residence, possibly. When you're asking romance and love questions with the Four of Wands, your relationship could become a whole lot more committed up to and including possible marriage. If you're looking for love, it shows that special events like weddings, bar mitzvahs, commit, commitment ceremonies, they're all a great place to meet someone special now. So you might want to crash a wedding. If you get if you get invited to things like that, like like what I just mentioned, and you're single, you definitely want to make it a point to go. Because it'll be more fun than you anticipated. Way more fun. Yeah. So this four of wands. Uh, your person is seeing you as marriage potential. Your person wants a long-term 
commitment with you. Yeah. Long term commitment. And it's paired with the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands. Let me explain it to you. Um, it's about the person you have your eye on. Or it could go the other way around. They could be being pursued by several people. Even so, you have to give it your best shot. You need to know that you have done all that you can for the relationship where your heart is involved. This can also work the other way around, meaning that you're going to be pursued by several interested people. So your person is seeing you as marriage potential. They want the long-term commitment. Um, being that it's paired with the Five of Wands, Um, they do find the relationship challenging, though. They find you a challenge. Uh, they sometimes find you to be a struggle for, well, maybe they see you struggle for dominance in the relationship. They also see you as sometimes... Um, you two don't really see eye to eye. Okay? There could be some competition in the relationship. So maybe that's why. Um, there is a need for you or your person to be stronger than ever now. And um, because there is some type of struggle here struggle for dominance like someone needs to be more feminine and then someone needs to let the other person be more masculine or be masculine so one person somebody needs to back down not be so aggressive if you're the woman I'm thinking it's you you need to be more feminine and not so uh, not so domineering because there's some type of struggle here for dominance. I'm thinking the man is trying to let you know that he prefers to be the dominant one in the relationship, but there's a struggle for that with this Five of Wands. There's probably, like I said, maybe some type of competition going on. You two are not seeing eye to eye uh, um, right now. You're not seeing eye to eye, okay? Or it's a lot of that in the relationship. But I guess it's all good because your person is still seeing you as marriage potential. They still want the long-term commitment. So just take these two cards as a warning that someone is um, a little bit too domineering. And they probably need to back down and let the other person be the dominant one. So hopefully it's the male that's struggling for dominance. And uh, it's the female that's, that's too headstrong. And she probably needs to back down. Okay, so no matter what, they still want, they still want to marry you. They still want that long term. They want to go to long haul with you. So it's still a serious thing for them. So that's how they see you. Now, let's take a look at how you see them. We have the Page of Pentacles. It's paired with the Five of Cups. Now, the Page of Pentacles is a card about boredom. You may be tempted to say or do things to shake people up. But you need to rethink that impulse because you're doing it for excitement because you're bored. Find a better use of your energy. Excitement can be created. It can be created. We all know that. 
The Page of Pentacles, it's an excellent energy to support you when you have somewhat tedious work to get accomplished. The page can give us focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. And when you're asking about relationships, love, this Page of Pentacles means that it's lost some of its luster. That doesn't have to mean that it's the end of a relationship. It does not. But it does mean that action and discussion is necessary to create change. We must be honest about how we're feeling. If you're, if you're a single watcher and you get this page of pinnacles and you can't seem to meet someone new, take a careful look at what you're holding in your heart. You could be still attached to an ex and may need to let go before you can expect to move forward. So you see your person as ambitious. They have a lot of desire and they have a lot of diligence about the relationship, about the connection. So, the relationship has probably lost some of his luster, but um, because um, of what I just said about the Page of Pentacles, someone may be trying to shake things up just for a little bit of excitement because they're bored. But um, you see them as um, possibly the relationship has lost a little bit of its, its oomph. That's how you're seeing the connection. It's probably lost a little bit of its zest. It's, it's lost a little bit of its spark. But there's some ambition there because they're trying to do things to keep to keep the excitement. So there's some ambition there. They 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 want to keep it going, but it's you see them as um, you see the connection as it's just lost a little bit of something. Okay, but it's not the end. Like I said, it means that you need to. Um, take action and discussion at this time, talk a whole lot. Because I don't know, maybe you two have been together for a long time and maybe you need to try new things. But it's paired with the Five of Cups. Now the Five of Cups, uh, it's about a relationship that may have just ended or about to start the process of ending. You have to realize that all is not lost and you're probably not ready yet to move into a new relationship. Give yourself some time and space then get back out there. There will come a day when you realize that the reason this relationship ended was to get you to a place where you really want to be. Which is in a relationship that really works for you. So the, these two, two cards paired together the Page of Pentacles and the Five of Cups, you're seeing this connection as it's just, it's lost some of its zest, it's lost some of its spark, but it's not over. It's not, well, the Page of Pentacles says it's not over, but the Five of Cups says it's in the process of ending. So, you see this connection as possibly ending. There's some loss. There's some regret. You see this connection with some feelings of abandonment. Or sometimes you probably feel unloved. So that's how you see this connection. That's how you see your person. Your situation. With this individual. Okay. And then... We, let's move on over to why it's all happening. 
Now it's all happening because of the Nine of Cups and the Six of Wands. Now the Nine of Cups is one of the most uplifting and pleasant cards to get in a reading. It's known as the Wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about is most likely to be yours in a very short period of time. The appearance of this card is usually about happiness, good things about to come. It also means that what you, what you really want is likely to become in your life, is likely to come into being in your life, what you really want, okay? If you're asking a yes or no type of question, this card is the most powerful indicator of yes, but yeah, it's a powerful indicator of yes, because it's, yeah, it's a nine of cups. Now, when you're asking about relationships, this card is a very good card to get in the tarot. If you're already in a relationship, it's very possible that it's going to deepen and become better, sweeter. If you're a single Virgo and you're watching this reading, it's a great time to meet people, get out, socialize, have conversations with strangers. The ideal now is to have fun. So, the Nine of Cups, it's a very good card in the tarot. It's a wish card. If you make a wish, it's going to be yours if, if, as soon as you blink your eye. And that's what the Nine of Cups is about. So, why this is all happening? It's because you two, underneath everything that's going on in the relationship, underneath it all, uh, you two feel blessed and satisfied to have each other. Yep. You, or you the, the both of you feel that way, or either you feel that way, or either maybe your person feels that way. But someone or the both of you, um, once upon a time, or some once upon a time, someone this was a wish. This this relationship was a wish for someone, and like I said, either you, your person, or both of you, deep down inside, you you feel blessed that you two are together. You feel grateful that you two have each other okay and with the nine of cups uh, the relationship it usually deepens and become better so like i said underneath everything that you go through the competition and the five of cups that we talked about uh, you guys are really grateful for each other, and it's paired with the Six of Wands. Now, the Six of Wands is about victory. Yep, it's about victory and celebrations. The Six of Wands, it suggests that you may need someone to boost your ego while the other person is fine doing the boosting and admiring this is called fire of balance you two feed off of each other energetically yep there's a lot of sexual energy in this connection there's a lot of passion and long nights spent in bed with the six of wands so everything in this reading that we talked about It's all happening because you two are very grateful for each other. You're glad you met. Um, and um, even though we talked about some type of separation, I'm picking up it's not, it may not be permanent. It may not be permanent. We did talk about a separation or so, of some sort. Maybe it's a uh, separation of of um, 
a situation or something else, but I'm not picking up that it's in the relationship. Or I'm not picking up it's the two of you. I'm picking up it's someone separating from maybe a neighborhood, uh, separating from work. That's what I'm picking up on when we talked about separation. Because you got this wish card here. It's it's about feeling that you're you're blessed and that you're really satisfied. So you're blessed, you're satisfied, you got the six of wands, and everything is happening because of you two want victory and success with this relationship. Uh, you two feed off of each other energetically. You've got, you two have that twin flame type of energy. It may not be all the time, but it's, it's very strong in the relationship. Like I said, there's a lot of sexual chemistry, a lot of passion. So all this is happening because of the Nine of Cups and the Six of Wands, which, which, is, a, which is a good thing. It keep, those two things alone can keep a relationship together. Nine of Cups, that wish card is is really big. Yeah, really big. So, Virgo, I hope you enjoyed this reading. There's going to be a link below of the extended of this reading. I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario. And what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I just want to say I hope you're enjoying 2020. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when I post the next reading. I so much hope that you uh, are having, I hope that you'll enjoy February and it's a good one for you. And I also want to say that I hope that you have a great day.